It's so lovely to meet you guys. I'm so excited to talk to you because if you couldn't tell by the outfit, this film was quite formative for me as a, as a wow. kid. Yes. Well, so. nice to meet you too, Maggie. And, you know, you definitely have the goth vibe of a vampire. <laughs> right. So squarely in our demographic. With Elvira right behind you. I'm yes. Not, I'm digging it. Yeah, you're in it. Awesome. Thank you. Well, kind of on the note of this film being really formative for a generation of horror fans, I was curious if there were any horror films, whether they're vampire films or otherwise, that were kind of formative for you guys, whether it was growing up, like when you made Lost Boys, or that has come out since that has kind of shaped your understanding of the genre. Well, I mean, so it, it's tough to narrow it down, but I will say that The Omen actually was is probably one of my favorite uh, horror movies. Uh, and it was and it was really, I, I when I saw it, I was like, horror movies can be great. You know, they're not just scary. They can be great. So I thought it was a great movie. And that's Dick Donner as well. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, uh, I guess I was uh, a different story because I was doing a lot of horror already. Uh, my first successful film was Friday the 13th, you know, where I killed Jason. Right. So that was that was pretty horrific. Uh, really, I'm, I still have nightmares over that that yeah. scene where he comes through the window and grabs me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was terrifying as a child. Uh, and then I did Gremlins right after, you know, so even though that had some comedy in it, it was still, you know, pretty scary. I mean, I remember going to the theaters and always getting creeped out by that it was scary. weird noise <laughs> when she's coming up the attic and the stairs and all that, you know, things have opened, just really creepy stuff. Uh, so it was kind of like, uh, you know, I enjoyed, I, I was a fan of, uh, of Halloween. So I was really big fan of Michael Myers. I loved the pace of those films, the way he walks so slow, but he always seems to catch the, yeah, the so people scary. and kill yeah. them. Uh, but so that was like my thing. And then when I got asked to do Friday the 13th, I didn't know that it wasn't the same thing. So I, I assumed I was going to be working with Michael Myers and I was really excited <laughs> by that. Uh, and then I found out that, no, no, this is the guy with the hockey mask. Oh, hockey mask. Uh, I have to watch that one. So, you know, it was interesting <laughs> learning about it and then seeing that, you know, people on horror movie sets are still having fun and joking and, and having a good time. And it's not like, you know, it's really not scary. You know, it's mm -hmm. there's fake blood and it tastes good. You can lick it, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you get used to the idea of being around it. So it was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and kind of on that note, similarly to films like Halloween and Friday the 13th, uh, the Lost Boys has kind of has had a, a serious influence on, you know, contemporary horror now, things coming out now, especially stuff like like Stranger Things, which even for other projects you've done, Corey, like The Goonies and Stand By Me, it kind of is influenced by that idea of the young set of kids, you know, being the heroes, not so much the adult characters. And I was curious for people who grew up kind of creating that subgenre, what's it like to watch these things be made now specifically with such a, a lens of nostalgia cast on the 80s as a decade i mean i think that it you know it's nice to see the influence I, first of all i think I'm, I'm very humbled by the fact that people still care people still remember the film not only remember the film but it's always being introduced to new audiences um you know we're very lucky that it, it has this kind of life extension and we get to see it you know up close very often because we do these conventions you know where we get to meet you know people from all over the world and they come dressed up in cosplay as the frog brothers you know i mean once in a while you see people dressed as michael and you definitely see a few davids uh but but overall it's the frog brothers you know that i see more than anything even jason patrick uh brought his kids uh to a convention and they it was his kid and, and the kid's best friend and they're both wearing headbands and they both got frog brothers t-shirts on and he asked if i would take a picture with him i'm like of course i would you know it's an honor and uh you know we just did this thing over the summer called summer of santa carla where it was like they recreated the boardwalk and they had all of these you know vendors and stuff so it was a whole convention literally just based around lost boys yeah, very cool you know kind of like they used to do for star trek but it was like a Lost Boys convention. And we did a concert there. And I've been singing, you know, People Are Strange. I'm sorry, I've been singing Cry Little Sister at my concerts with 
film clips. And then Jameson came up and joined me for a few shows <laughs> where he actually sang yes. People Are Strange with me. So yeah, that's my goal. Cool. Frog too. Brothers together, we were singing People Are Strange. That's right. And we're going to do it again. Yeah. Dallas, Texas on Halloween night. Nice. I was going to ask very briefly um, to pivot to your music a little bit, Corey, because you just played a concert right up the road from me in Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago. I had a couple oh, of friends that rock. went. Yes. Yeah. Did yeah. I, a, I didn't, but I had a couple of friends that came that really loved it. Um, okay. I was out of town at the time, but I was curious. You've put out a couple singles this year. Is there anything else we can kind of look forward to in the near future? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you know, but but the singles are from my new album. The new album is called Love Left 2, Army With Love. And <clears throat> it's all part of a giant box set that we <laughs> just put out, which actually has uh, music and videos from my like home movies and stuff like that. So the very first music video that I ever shot, which many people didn't know because I never released it, was during the shooting of Lost Boys. So it all kind of ties together. But uh, 1986, I directed and starred in this short film called Runaway, and I did all the music for it. And uh, we just finally put it out for the first time. So it all kind of goes back to that time. And, you know, there was a lot of music that I did between 86 and 89 people don't realize so yes the box set is a four cd set two dvds a documentary in it it's it's a great collection hopefully you get a chance to check it out yeah absolutely i will i mean i was listening to your music kind of coming up to to prep for this so that'll that'll be really exciting i had one final question for you guys and it's kind of a silly question but since in the lost boys you play the frog brothers you play the vampire hunters i was curious if you guys had to go up against kind of any famous vampire in a fight, who do you think you could take on and beat? Well, uh, first of all, you know, Jameson and I actually talked about doing uh, a show. We were thinking about the concept anyway, of like him and I as not the Frog Brothers, but just <laughs> as us going and seeking out, you know, like uh, right. real life. But uh, yeah, real life lore. vampire lore yeah. or, or yeah. you know, other type mystical creatures and things that we could actually go and see if they really exist. Yeah. You know, wouldn't it be fun to go to Transylvania and go to Dracula's castle and see if we can yeah. really find the vampire? Uh, so, you yeah. know, stuff like that. And and if we were put into that position, well, I suppose we would take our, our Lost Boys Frog Brother knowledge and yeah. skills that we've attained through the years. And I think we do a pretty decent job. Yeah. And, and, and we're not afraid. I think that's, that's the biggest no thing. Fear. We're no ready fear. to face no anybody. That's right. You know? Absolutely not. Anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate talking to you. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> thank you. You too.